Hello and welcome. I'm Carol Deshane of Connect to Joy, and this month it's all about finding peace. And how do you do it? Last week I talked about letting go of stress, and this week I'm going to talk about being in the now. We talk about this quite a bit. It's been out there for a long time, but people don't really do it because we're rushing around getting things done. We're doing. We're living our lives. But how do you be in the actual now? So many times we're going, I need to do this. And then you, while you're doing it, you think, I need to do that. So you're actually almost like living in the future. You're assuming or you're worrying about the past and something that happened. So how do you actually live in the now? Eckhart Tolle's book is excellent about talking about that, but it's a little esoteric sometimes. And it's you can read it over and over again and get all sorts of different information out of it. But I have to say that sometimes it can be inspiring and sometimes it's just like, huh? <laughs> and there are a lot of other books as well, but that's kind of the one that most people start with. And maybe it's one that they shouldn't start with, they should end with because it's the one you have to look at other things first in order to really get it. If you're now, there is only now, after all, you wanna plan for the future. You wanna let go of the past and learn from it. That's what most spiritual people wanna do. But we tend to still kinda of drag our baggage with us. Sometimes we let go of some of it, but it's, there's always something. It's whatever we learn colors who we are. And that's normal. But when you want to be in the now, take that moment. That's why so many people like meditation. It's something that can work. And we're going to talk about that next week. Something that you can find peace with. But being in the now is something that you can do anytime. Stop what you're doing. Take a breath. Think about what you're doing, about how you feel about who you're with. So many people have told me that they didn't remember their wedding day because they rushed through it. They were worried about it so much. They planned for it and then it happened and they were so excited and then they went back and looked and they went, what did I do? I don't remember that day. And I heard about that so much that when I got married, I made sure I was 100% as much in the now as I could be. I wanted to remember every single moment and it was the, one of the best days of my life. And I have to admit, five years later, I got a divorce. So the marriage didn't turn out the way you hope when there's a divorce, obviously. But the day, I remember specifically trying to stay present in every moment that I had. And every moment I had was amazing. So many wonderful people there. All of my dear friends came from all over the country. And I never really expected them to be able to, but I was hoping all of my husband-to-be's, you know, friends came. He didn't have hardly any relatives. He had two brothers. So he does have two brothers. And they came. And it was just a beautiful time. So I know that being in the now, it's possible to do in very, I mean, like, now and then now and then now and then now so it's like the whole day you can be in a now moment but each moment is separate so take some alarm or something once an hour once a half an hour take a breath feel the now and even if you don't meditate that can be your moment of now allow yourself to feel the good from it. Feel the joy from it. Feel the love. Feel whatever it is you feel when you stop thinking about other things. Stop worrying about other things. Breathe. Even if you're angry, if you get into the now moment, for some reason the anger gets sharper and then it disappears. It is the strangest thing. So if you're feeling like you're unkind, you're really angry about something, Take that moment, feel it, really feel it in your body. Go, whoa, okay. Maybe you go, okay, don't like that. Get rid of that emotion. Or maybe you'll go, yes, I needed to feel that. Because sometimes you need something. 
but you don't need to hang on to it beyond that now moment. Maybe you have five minutes of now moments that you have to hang on to it. And then you go, okay, I'm, I'm done. I don't need to feel this way anymore. Don't just react from the past. Don't react and let people push your buttons. Choose how you are in your now, in each now moment that you have. Especially if you can take that step, not even the step back, more the step within. Take the step, if you're always leaning forward like I am, trying to get things done, do things. Have 28 hours in every 24-hour day to get things accomplished. Take a breath. And to me, I step back. Other people feel like they pull in. Other people feel like they look at it from above. Whatever you need in that moment. Most of the time, I just need a breath. And go, oh yeah. I can appreciate my moment now. Even in traffic, I can do it. I don't remember to do it all the time. But traffic, whatever it is that really you know annoys you, maybe when your kids are screaming, you can take that moment and breathe. I know that when I was learning Reiki 25 years ago, I wasn't sure why she did this, but she attuned each person. And I have since shifted to a different energy, but I was there for I was a, uh, 25 years as a mark. Um, I should say Marconic, that's a, a Reiki practitioner. 20 years of that time, I was a Reiki master. And I remember from the first day when she attuned us, then she had us all lay on her back with our head in the circle, in the center, with like a boom box in the middle or whatever she had. And she turned up this music really, really loud. And I'm going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is so good. And she'd say, relax into the music. And I go, and eventually I kind of force myself to, and then relax in the music. She said it enough. All of a sudden I got, I lost all my tension. And even loud, it wasn't obnoxious music. It was just loud. And it was too loud for me. And it was like, I started floating with the music. And you can do that with anything. If you're in your now, you don't need to fight it or stress it. You can kind of float with it and let it be what it is. If your kids are screaming, if there's loud music or drumming coming from next door, you might find that all of a sudden it doesn't bother you right now. It may, the next now it may bother you, but at least in this moment. Ah, and that's another way to let go of stress I didn't talk about last week. Be in the now. All that stress and that stuff falls away. Realizing that you can pick it up again. The burden is always there if you want it, unless you release it totally. But in now moments, you can. You can let it go for that moment and decide in the next moment if you want to continue to let it go. You can do that. It's a gift to yourself. But it's also a gift to everybody you know. So realize that it's your choice. How you handle each moment of your life is your choice. How you react to other people. You can always find peace by letting people go, but you can also find peace in the now by just breathing. And when you realize that you can find peace in the now, you may be very clear how you want to change your life. You may find those people that stress you out, that maybe, I mean, abusers, all those people you might go, I'm done. You may need help to get out from certain situations. You might need a therapist. You might need a life coach. You might need a career coach to help you get out of the kind of job you're in. But you can do it. You can choose. And being in that now moment, taking that breath, appreciating yourself and in that moment what and who you are can really help you get clarity on finding more peace in other areas of your life, in other now moments. This is all about finding peace this month. Join me next week when I talk about meditation, and I've done that before, but when you're finding peace, meditation can, is for everyone, and there's not just one way to do it, which is what's so cool. So join me. Until next week, by all means, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like it, and also, if you're still listening, I bet you do. You can click the bell notification and you'll find out the next time I put out a video. And if you'd like more 
besides a lot of YouTube videos I have out there, I also have a podcast called Living Your Limitless Life. And there I also talk about all different sorts of ways on how you can make your life and even your business, if you're an entrepreneur, better for you. I am a certified life and business coach. I'm also a certified Marconic multidimensional energy practitioner and teacher, and I'm an intuitive. If you feel the need for life coaching and you like our connection the way you're feeling when you listen to me, by all means, connect with me. You can find it on my website, which will be on in the video, beneath the video, in the comments. Until next week, remember, you can have peace. You can be at peace. You just need to make those decisions that you're worth it. And you are. Until next week.